Hi, welcome to this InDesign tutorial. My name is Emma and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. So in this tutorial we'll look at creating colour in InDesign. So before we get started, I'd like you to head up to top right of your screen to see where it might say the word Essentials. You need to click and make sure it does actually say Essentials. If it doesn't, click on this. And if you find that if you've done that and it doesn't look like my screen, just want you to click Reset Essentials. It's just going to set up your desktop so it's at its default setting. Okay, we're going to have a look at swatches here. This is what we have by default. You can delete these. If you just click on the top one, hold shift, click on that bottom option, and click on that little trash can, it will delete those default settings. However, you might need those later on, so let's just leave those there. We've also got our color panel. So click on this palette, head over to this little drop-down menu, and make sure that you've got the CMYK option for print. Okay, so we've got our cyan, magenta, yellow, and K is black. So if I just take you through these, this is our cyan color, 100 cyan, blue. We've got a magenta, we've got our yellow. You can obviously key this in as well. Zero and tab down, click 100, making sure I click tab as well, just so it's registers. So those are our four colors. Today I want us to work with zero cyan, 100 magenta, zero yellow, and let's add 20 black. Click tab so that registers. So we've created our colour here, it's a darker pink. Click on this drop down menu and click add to swatches. So you'll see here now that this colour that we've created does appear underneath that default setting list. Here we go. We can name this. This is our default setting, it's what the, the um, options that we chose it to be, cyan, magenta, yellow and black. If we double click on this, we can click here untick that option and click whatever you like, whatever you want to name it. Click OK. You can also do a slow click. Click once, once again, I can name that this way as well. Oh. Click return. So this is our first colour. The other way that we can do this is when we're in our swatches panel, and click on the drop down menu here. I have a couple of options. Click New Color Swatch, and we will get this box that we saw earlier as well. So again, we can untick this if we like. If we want to name it green. Carrying on down here, cyan. Let's make this 50. Click on tab. Make this a zero. Tab. Make this 50. Tab. Let's make this zero. And remember to tab at this point as well. So we've created a green here. I can click OK, but if I do have any other colors I want to create, if I click Add, okay, we'll create one more color. Let's make this a zero. Let's make this 70, 0, 20. So we want to make the cyan a colour as well. Let's make this 50. Let's make a purple colour. Purple. And click OK. You'll see this now comes into some libraries. And we've also got this in our list here as well. OK, making sure that we save our file. Control or Command S, save. Or File, save. That just means that when we close down our document and reopen it, we do have those colours that we created in this document as well. Okay, hey, thank you for listening to this color tutorial.